Hello, art students. Welcome to our Art Docent lesson for the Lighthouse Project. Before we get started making our art, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about lighthouses because they're so cool and why I chose a lighthouse for this project. First, what is a lighthouse? I bet you've all seen a lighthouse before, but do you really know what they are? A lighthouse is a tower or other structure containing a beacon or light to warn or guide ships at sea. The very first lighthouse ever recorded in history was built in Alexandria in Egypt, and it was built in 280 BCE, before Common Era. That was 2,301 years ago. This lighthouse was 450 feet tall with a giant statue of Poseidon. In Greek mythology, Poseidon was the Greek god of the sea. A huge bonfire was lit at the top of the tower, and you could see it more than 30 miles away. This tower was used for 1,500 years before it was destroyed in an earthquake in 1303 AD. That was 718 years ago. The first modern lighthouse was the Eddystone Lighthouse. It was originally built in the year 1696. That was 325 years ago. The original lighthouse was built with wood. 60 years later, in 1756, they built a new lighthouse with stone. And this new lighthouse became the model for all lighthouses after that. The Eddy Stone Lighthouse originally used 60 candles that were one pound each. The new lighthouse they rebuilt used 24 candles that were half a pound each, and those had to be replaced every three hours. The Bell Rock Lighthouse off the coast of Scotland, it was built in 1807, finished in 1810, that was 214 years ago, and it was so well built they haven't needed to replace it or repair it in over 200 years. Here's the South Foreland Lighthouse built in England in 1843, which was 178 years ago. This was the first lighthouse to use electric light in the year 1858, 163 years ago. Before electric light, lighthouses used fires fueled by wood or coal or oil or gas. The South Foreland Lighthouse had the earliest lighthouse keeper recorded in history named William Knott, and he started in the year 1730. The Fresnel lens was a big invention called the invention that saved a million ships. The idea was invented by Count Buffon, but perfected by Augustin Jean Fresnel in the year 1821. That was 200 years ago. Instead of a regular glass lens, like a magnifying glass, you can see here kind of round shape like an eyeball or a magnifying glass, those lenses absorb and lose light. The Fresnel lens used steps or cuts in rings that worked as prisms to catch all the light and point it all in the same direction. Fresnel lenses absorb and lose less light so they can make a smaller light source go a longer distance. And here's a picture of what a Fresnel lens looks like up close. It kind of has um, rings or um, bumps in it that you can feel. The design of these Fresnel lenses in a circle can create a flashing light by rotating the lens panels. The lenses were rotated with a clockwork mechanisms. The lenses are very heavy and the first mechanisms were so weak it took eight minutes for the lens to go all the way around. The first Fresnel lens had a flash of 20 seconds and the time between flashes was a whole minute. So the clockwork mechanism would be a weight hanging down through the center of the lighthouse attached with a cable. And at the top, the cable would wrap around a barrel or a drum. 
the keeper would crank the mechanism, which would lift the weight all the way up to the top. Once the weight was all the way to the top, the keeper would let the weight fall. The weight would reach the bottom of the lighthouse every few hours, and the keeper would have to go up to the top and wind the mechanism back up every time it fell down, every two or three hours. The first lenses used a chariot wheel system to make the lens go around and around with the weight. And by using more panels and larger clockwork mechanisms, they could make a shorter flash with less time in between. With a 24 panel lens, so 24 lenses in a circle, they could make a flash as short as five seconds with 15 seconds in between. But then they discovered the mercury flotation system. The mercury flotation system had a basin, like a bowl, shaped like a donut, with a little bit of mercury inside. Mercury is a liquid metal. The Fresnel lens would sit on a donut-shaped ring that would float in the basin. The mercury keeps the metal from rubbing and slowing down, so you could push a lens weighing thousands of pounds with just one finger. This new mercury flotation system made the rotation faster, so they could use bigger lens panels and fewer of them, making the light brighter and the flash quicker. And everyone agreed that a flash of three-tenths of one second with 10 seconds in between was best. Fresnel lenses are made in six sizes, divided into orders. A first order lens is about eight feet high and six feet wide. That's wider than me, then I am tall. The sixth order is the smallest, about 17 inches high. That's about as tall as an American Girl doll. The very first Fresnel lens was used in the Cordouan Lighthouse in France. They started building it in the year 1584, that's 437 years ago, and they finished it in the year 1611, that's 410 years ago. It's the oldest lighthouse in France and the 10th tallest lighthouse, traditional lighthouse in the whole world. Early lights, they used a Fresnel lens to make the light stronger and go farther. And the early lights they used burned um, oil or gas or alcohol or coal. The lighthouse keepers were responsible for taking care of the lighthouse, especially the light and lens, in the days when oil lamps and clockwork mechanisms were used. Lighthouse keepers were sometimes called wickies because of their job trimming the candle wicks. Their job was to trim the candles, fill the fuel, wind the clockworks, and clean the lenses and windows. Lighthouses are often in isolated areas that are hard to get to, so lighthouse keeper jobs often passed from family to child, from parent to child within the family, and so on. Like the Knott family, they were the longest period of continuous lighthouse keepers from the year 1730 to the year 1906. That was 176 years their family worked as lighthouse keepers. The first female lighthouse keeper in America was Hannah Thomas at the Plymouth or Gurnet Light in Massachusetts in the year 1776. That was 245 years ago. Fanny Salter was the keeper at Turkey Point Lighthouse at the head of the Chesapeake Bay. She was one of the last female lighthouse keepers retiring in 1947. Frances Johnson was another female lighthouse keeper. 
She was a civilian, so just a regular person, who was a lighthouse keeper at White River Lighthouse in Michigan from 1949 to 1954. She became the lighthouse keeper after her husband retired. He was the lighthouse keeper before, and she and her husband divorced. And then she retired in 1954 as the very last fem- official female lighthouse keeper in the United States. Modern technologies like automatic light bulb changing and um, electricity have made lighthouse keepers much less necessary than before. Most lighthouses are not staffed anymore. Many working lighthouses like ours are maintained by the Coast Guard or the Navy, and historic lighthouses are kept up by cities, historical associations, and volunteers. Sally Snowman is the volunteer lighthouse keeper at the Boston Light. Lighthouse keepers often had houses at their lighthouses, like this one at Cape Disappointment in Washington. This one in Michigan is now a private house. This one here in Maine is also a private house, and the lighthouse is kept by the city. And this lighthouse light station, the East Brothers Light Station, is now a hotel in San Francisco, and you can take a boat out and stay at the lighthouse overnight. How fun. So raise your hand if you have ever seen a lighthouse. Yes, we have a lighthouse in our very own town. The Muckleteo Lighthouse was built. Its uh, construction started in 1905. That's 115 years ago. And it started working in 1906 with a revolving Fresnel lens that was made in 1852. The revolving lens was replaced with a non-revolving lens, a fourth order Fresnel lens, in 1927. That's almost 100 years ago. That lens is still in our lighthouse, and it's one year older than the Washington Territory and 37 years older than the state of Washington. It's a 150-watt bulb. And because of the Fresnel lens, you can see the 150-watt bulb 10 miles away. The lighthouse keeper and assistant at the Muckleteo Light Station worked every six hours trading shifts until electricity arrived in 1927. Since our lighthouse opened, there have been 18 official lighthouse keepers. Our lighthouse was considered a great assignment and was given as a reward for outstanding service. The U.S. Coast Guard families moved out of the two keepers' houses in 1996, only 25 years ago. 